I want to call you one. Is it okay if I call him one? Funky dog head, bitch. Directly injected into your fucking veins. 
Scare you. In your bloodstream. Scare you. To get this it's straight in there. Mm-hmm. Your body dealing with it as soon as it's in there. Yes, it did. You know, pumping through your heart and all this and that. And I go as far as to say, you know, it's it's been coming from more ways than one. Like, not just an assault uh, intravenously, but also pumped in the air. Right now, it's gonna be showing right here what me and bro seen, which was a beautiful sky with an ugly cloud of smoke coming, not streaks. You know, it was like, we wasn't meant to see the beautiful sky. Oh, when you was yeah. like strange clouds. The rest of the sky. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? yeah strange So what's cloud. in that shit? Something strange. Because we I just at- came out this morning. Sorry, I was cutting you off. Yeah, I just came out this morning, right? Bust the garage open. And the, the snow was, was not falling to the ground. It was like... It had an upward drive, a downward drive, and it was just around the crib. Now listen, this is real talk. I hopped in the car, I got the phone, I'm finna record this shit and see if I'm tweaking. I always record shit, you know what I'm saying, to see if I'm tweaking. I ask somebody else their opinion. I hopped in the car, bagged up, by the time I get out the garage, the shit was gone. Now what the fuck was that? Now it was, clearly, it ain't snow. You know what I'm saying? But it was snow droplets all around, clouding around my my crib. Then I bust the garage down and start fading away. But the, like I said, the droplets was not the normal density that that, 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 that snow droplets is. They wasn't falling straight down. They was they was like they was like going every direction before they hit that floor. So I'm like, man, you know, the wind ain't even that, the current of the wind ain't even that strong to the point where it, you know deflect where the shit, you know, falling like that. So why was it just clouding around? It was like, cause I'm thinking because it wasn't the same density because it's something else chemically uh, is going on that made it thinner. So, like I said, another thing that made me curious to what the fuck was going on, cause when I bagged out the garage, it was nothing there. It's literally like I'm looking at small little leftover residue droplets that I ain't gonna be able to record, so I just, went on and pulled on off. But among that, that's what I'm saying, I'm just saying that to go along with what my brother said about, you know what I'm saying, uh, what we incurred the other day with the clouds, beautiful sky the day itself was a beautiful day. The, the, I'm talking about cloud was blue as I don't know what, I mean the uh, sky. sky was blue as I don't know what, and the clouds was white, beautiful bright white, and they were still they was not floating or moving with the air. They was far but enough right away. up underneath that, where we were, a little lower, clouds was thick, dense, dark, and they was moving as fast as you can see clouds move. And they was gathering up and everything. We have it recorded. I have it recorded. That's what's up. No, and, uh, show that. you know, we're going to show you guys what, because we got it. We're going to show you what's on there for you can understand what we see. We, you know, right now you're probably just hearing like, what the fuck these guys talking about. It's going to be showing sure. it. See it. That shit. You're going to see it and understand what we're seeing and, that, and it wasn't regular, you know what I'm saying, throughout my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm almost 40. So I, I've seen this uh, like never in life. So mm-hmm. I never looked up in the sky. So shit like, you know what I'm saying, you supposed to be sick, be done seen in 40 years. Yeah, you supposed to be done seen all right. 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 All type of, you know what I'm saying, Occurrences, you know what I'm saying? Same spot I've been here. Especially as it pertains to the weather. You know what I mean? You should be done came across. You know, I ain't gonna say everything, you know. But most of it. But most of it. And if it's we something that you ain't used to. Earthquake it be. in Chicago. Huh? When I was a, when I was in uh like grammar school. It was like right here in two thousand seven. I believe that. Right. Y'all felt that shit? Yeah, yeah. It was I remember that too. But I remember the when I was a kid, like it was yesterday, because we all felt it. We was like, oh, we was at school, yeah. What it feel like? It, was, it just felt like the flow just did like that. It wasn't even no, you know what I mean? It was just like a, 
But everybody felt it happen though. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. dude, we like everybody just shook right then. <laughs> oh, Not shit. just us. It's like in, everything. in 2007, this boy rocked. They said it was like a three something, three point something. But that boy rocked because I was downstate. I was downstate, down, down like you know, uh, Vienna and stuff like that. And uh, down there, that boy rocked. Felt that shit. It was like it wasn't just no one little. It was like I'm like. <laughs> what in the world was that? People get to hollering and stuff, they ain't know how to react, you know what I'm saying? Because we're not familiar and used to that type of stuff. Just like this here, uh, coronavirus, coronavirus disease. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just the same, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's a lot of panic, you know what I'm saying? And people not used to having this type of stuff happen. So what's gonna happen is, and what I told my brother, uh, you know, if it was a sick plot to, you know, kill people and remove people from the earth because they feel like it's too many or some or whatever, it just somebody just like killing people, so they put the stuff out here so they can see how many people they can kill. Mm. Whatever it was that was the plot behind this happening, good can and will come from this. A lot of good, gonna, and what I mean by that is, it's gonna bring Americas closer together. If we do pour through this, it's gonna bring America closer together, and we're not just gonna just stand for anything. Cause we've seen that if you let humans, if you let humans make the call on what's going on, your own life, fuck ups can happen. If this was you, I'm sure probably some of y'all would have handled things differently. Cause we got leaders <laughs> out there. Then we got the people who follow, who's okay with the fact that this happened and, and they say, well, people make mistakes and Trump couldn't fix it or, you know what I'm saying, all that, make a hundred excuses for why, you know what I'm saying, this just is normal for y'all. For me, I, it, it makes me feel like, you know what I'm saying, that we need to pay more attention to our government because they can mishandle things. Because as soon as people found out that people was dying from that stuff over in China, all flights, everything was supposed shut to be stopped. Shut down. And immediately, nobody else can come from over there to over here because y'all done got a control on some type of disease. You know what I'm saying? So we need to check everybody who falls up. I mean, who gets off the plane or boat or anything that comes from over there. Now, see, they would have been testing maybe across the whole United States the people who working and coming to and from uh, 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 overseas on on an average basis. You probably would be testing about a hundred thousand people. I give it one hundred to two hundred thousand people working around the entire America who come from China and different places that could have bought this stuff over. You'd have been testing like a hundred thousand people, and it probably would have been a ten-day process. But now you have to test millions of people, and we don't even have a, a projected date as to when this is gonna be over. Mm, so. True. What's easier? That was clearly mishandling see, of government. That I was agree. clearly mishandling of everything that you're supposed to have but I, handled. I, I do want to interject that whatever is the propaganda, you always have to analyze it in the sense that it may be some the exact opposite of that that's really going on, but they putting what they want out there. And, and, and what I'm speaking about is that that date, because I believe if they put it out there, the coronavirus, if they created it and put it and launched it, then they got a projected date. They just ain't putting it out there. You know what I mean? Because they don't want people to strive for that. You know what I mean? Because everybody will be striving for that and making it. You know what I'm saying? Because and how magical belief is. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and it's so simple, but people too silly to realize. And for me, like I said, I said it, but I was, thi- I was just saying something. For me, it was just theory. But people don't realize how serious this this chess move is. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. Now, people think it's a total coincidence or just happenstance that these celebrities are catching COVID-19. There's no way in the world, I promise you, that these celebrities are just accidentally catching COVID-19. They're catching it for a reason. And the reason they're catching it, my belief and my, and I know this to be true, is because on down the line, it's gonna work in their benefit. You know what I'm saying? 
So when other people, when the COVID twenty come out and motherfuckers is 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 is, is toe up for real, for real, they have a immunity to the shit. So why y'all gonna be in the house sick and in the hospital sick and watching movie? I mean, watching TV. Y'all gonna be watching these people who already had COVID nineteen, who knew about this whole process, and they gonna be on TV entertaining y'all, still making y'all money, sucking y'all for the rest of that money. Why y'all laying on y'all deathbed? Mm. So. The best thing to do, like I said, is figure out why these celebrities is catching it. Because it's a reason. It's a reason. And why Trump's saying he don't have it, because they know it. If he say he has it, they, a lot of people gonna understand what the fuck going on. And they gonna be like, hold on. If Trump got this shit, I want the shit too. Mm. Straight up. And that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? These celebrities, I'm telling you, they preparing. They are serious investments into these individuals. These fellow celebrities, they they bring in a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they care about you, but they really care about that celebrity who bringing in a lot of money. Not just for the companies, but for the government and for everything. Because everything that these celebrities put out there, y'all gonna grasp it. So they gotta take care of them. So you think they just gonna give? Here, y'all accidentally got caught. We we made a mistake and made this celebrity catch COVID-19 because of mishandling. We had too many concerts and somebody coughed on them. But ain't nobody in the concert get the shit but this motherfucker. That's that common sense. See, that's that common sense. I'm a proponent that common sense need to be kept. But common sense ain't common. We know that. But the common sense part is that whenever that crack again on TV and tell you, history show, ancestry show, that man. I got to look the other way. If he telling me to look up, I got to look the other way. Yes. So What's we up, need to, we need to, hey, Ken, folks. <laughs> we need to always remember that. You know what I'm saying? So if they say go left, we need to be thinking about what right look like. If they say go down, we need to think about what being up look like. So when they say what I'm hearing is all of this, it's going to be a lockdown. They, you know, it's certain businesses that they say y'all don't come back to like fucking April, May. I know the school systems in two states, Indiana and Illinois, are saying y'all ass don't come back to April. You know what I'm saying? And that's contingent on what. Yeah, I want to call you one. Is it okay if I call him one? Funky dog head, bitch.